Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers this Thursday morning. We'll be using the prayer book, New Zealand prayer book today. Let's begin. Give us today our daily bread. Homai kiamato ayane, etaro momato mo tenera. None of us lives and none of us dies for ourselves alone. Living or dying, we belong to the Lord. It's a gospel reflection. Jesus, you are the bread of life. Those who come to you will never be hungry. Those who believe in you will never thirst. You are the living bread from heaven. The bread you give is your own flesh and you give it for the life of the world. All who eat your flesh and drink your blood live in you and you in them. For your flesh is the food we need. Your blood is our salvation. All who eat your flesh and drink your blood have eternal life. Look, Look to, to Jesus, Jesus in, in the wilderness, wilderness breaking, breaking bread, bread and feeding, feeding the multitude. multitude. And a reflection on some readings from the epistles. Etifano, sparse sowing, meager reaping. But if we are generous, bountiful, will be the harvest. So let us give what we can, not with regret, nor from a sense of duty. God loves a cheerful giver. And when we help others, we will not just meet their needs. We will unleash a flood of gratitude to God. Many will give glory to God for your loyalty to the gospel and for our generosity. God loves a cheerful giver. And this is our lectionary reading for today in the New Testament. We're going through Paul's letter to the Romans still, and we're in this glorious chapter, chapter 8, and there's just this one little section that we're called to reflect on today. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the sinful nature, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful slaves. Instead, you received God's Spirit when he adopted you as his own children. Now we call him Abba, Father. For his Spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we're his children, we are his heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we're to share his glory, we must also share his suffering. Let's turn to prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you that today we can lift to you the needs of all of our loved ones and of the world, of your church, your body here on earth. And we ask that you would lead us into a sense of your presence with us every, in every aspect of our day. That we would look to you and turn to you and listen for your voice. We ask that you would be especially in those countries right now that are suffering so much because of the pandemic and the consequential economic downturn, the strains and stresses on food production and the unfair distribution of anything that can help. We pray especially for India today. And we ask that you would be so moving amongst your people to be generous hearted, amongst all of those who look to God for all of their being. Shower mercy down on them, Lord. Provide for their every need. 
and bring peace in places of fear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's pray for our neighborhoods and our community and those within it. There may be uh, people that you're conscious of. You, you meet each day on the street, you walk past them or neighbors that you're aware of with their needs. Let's hold them up before God. And God has placed us in those places to be salt and light. So it's worth um, just lifting up the people in your workplace as well, where you're called to be salt and light, or your supermarket, or place of leisure. Let's um, be still, just think of those places right now and hold the faces, the people up before God. Lord, we ask that you would be transformative in those spaces. You'd help us to be a light for you there. That we may shine with our lives and with our words. That we bring encouragement and support to those that we see. Maybe just even with a good morning. Or a listening ear. We pray for people in the offices around us, those that we know and those that are just faced us at the moment. May they know the hope of the love of Christ dwelling in their hearts in this time of uncertainty. We pray for peace in our city and in our own community. We pray for good working relationships with those who are community leaders that there would be well-being, mm. that people would feel valued and there would be a great sense of neighbourliness. We hold our neighbourhood up before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray today too for those who um, look out for us and who we're connected to, who are particularly in the caring professions. Mm. We pray for our local doctor surgery and the nurses, the receptionists. We pray for the pharmacies who provide us with so much helpful information and medication. We pray for those who run the care homes near us and those who run the ambulance service, those who are connected with the hospitals. And we pray to Lord for all of those who are um, maybe without even a title, but that are home caring for people. And they're looking out for others whose needs are much greater than their own. And we ask that you would sustain them this day and lift them up. Help them to know that they're serving just as if they were caring for you. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for uh, those who lead our churches and uh, involved in our diocese here, but if you're in a different diocese, pray for those folk in yours. We pray for our bishops, for Bishop Justin here, Bishop Ellie, for their strength and well-being. Mm. For those who work around them in partnership and support and lead the diocese, mm. we pray for their families. I also pray for church leaders in other denominations, other Christian groups in and around the neighbourhood for unity. Mm. We pray that, that we may be one so that the world may know that you have sent us. Mm. We pray for <coughs> their well-being and their churches to flourish too. Mm. And for your gospel to be proclaimed, to be shared, to be communicated, mm. to be radiated out to, to others. And bless us. As people prepare for leading worship on Sunday and encouraging your people as they gather together, strengthen their faith. And we pray for guidance and inspiration, spiritual inspiration, for uh, times of worship and praise that will be uh, nourishing to the people of God so that they can be salt and light in the world. Mm. And feel free right at this moment just to mention any church leader or uh, and our small group leader or whoever that you want to hold up before God, just speak out their name mm. where you are and let's pray for them together too. Mm. Good job, Jessica. Mm. 
for an exam. Katie. Lord, we lift all these people before you. We pray your blessing upon them. Mm. Strengthen their faith and help them in their leadership. Mm. May they be open to the leading and inspiration of your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now let's pray for ourselves. This day, Lord, may we be full of the Spirit of Christ. May we be enlivened to share that love with others. Maybe we be comforted where we are sad or lonely or bereaved. May we have healing in our bodies and our minds and our spirits. And we, may we be so full of the joy of the Lord that whatever our circumstances, we are able to rest in Christ and share Christ with others. And now let's pray together the prayer that the Lord taught us. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. God of seed and growth and harvest, creator of need, creator of satisfaction, give us, we pray, our daily bread, sufficient and assured for all. Give us also, we pray, the bread of life, and we shall have a care to feed the hungry and to seek for peace and justice in the world. Help us then to remember and to know that you are our life today and every day. You are the food we need now and forever. Amen. And look kindly on our world, our God, as we suffer and struggle with one another. Look kindly on your church, driven by the same necessity. And may the light we have seen in Jesus illuminate and brighten all the world. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a good have, day. Yeah, have a really lovely day. Go and brighten the world. <laughs> See Amen. you in prayer in the next couple of days.